Welcome back, this is the Amit Jack. We got Hell on Earth, Lavender Town, Gunslinger. I'm hungry. You know? I'm quite hungry. Just woke up uh, maybe an hour and a half ago. Got the, uh, the Amit Jack tries for today done. It was. I can't even remember what the game's name was called. I just finished recording it too. But I cannot remember what it's called. I can never remember the names of the games. We play so many games. That uh, you know, I, I play so many games that uh, it's hard to remember the names of them all. Honestly, I remember some of them like Fluffy Horde, the the good ones like Synthetic Legion. Fluffy Horde was good. Um, Infectinators Survivors was good. You know, I remember Metal Unit. I will always remember Metal Unit as the the first game that deeply disturbed me to play on the on the Amcheck tries. Um, but I was uh, I always forget the names of the games, and the prices, and all that kind of stuff. It's easy, easy to forget. But I just, uh, just finished that, and then uh, I figured I would go ahead and record my KF2 going like uh, real quick. Get this out of the way. Got two episodes to record, and uh, get uploaded and all that, which is all good. I almost forgot to upload the uh, the one this morning actually. So this morning, earlier, the last video that I uh, that I recorded. I, it was like 4 a.m. or whatever. I'd woken up partway through my sleep, and I was like, "Oh crud! I forgot to like set the the, the, the meta details for this uh, for this video." And uh, so I I like got up and set them in the middle of the night, and uh, got it got it up and going. I was I was all so tempted to just be like, "Eh, whenever I wake up, I'll I'll just do it then." But it would have been like now, <laughs> which is like 11:30. No, it wouldn't have been. It wouldn't have been. Wouldn't have been that great. So, yeah, I'm glad I, I did that. Forced myself to get up and set the details. I had the thumbnail already made. I just I forgot to set the the meta details for it. Um. So yeah, who knows, right? Uh, I've been thinking about the whole scheduling myself thing and like getting into streaming and all that. And uh, we have to turn the music down a little bit here. Like that. I'm uh, thinking about like streaming and all of this kind of stuff, right? And I, I've come to a conclusion that uh, I want to just I want to just do it. I want to just do it, get it over with, and uh, see how see how it goes. Give it a, give it a trial run, right? So come September, uh, starting September first. I hate I hate being here. Uh, starting September first. I'm going to be uh, working on a proper schedule for the, the YouTube and the streaming thing, and I'm going to be doing that uh, five days a week, uh, which will be good, hopefully. Uh, and then uh, I'll be doing it for the, the full month of September at least to, uh, to see if I can get into the rhythm of it, make it a habit, and uh, see if it's uh, become something that I'd want to do long term. So uh, you, you, you can't just do it for like a week and then decide right you have to you have to do it for longer than that to actually grow somewhat of an audience on the, the twitch side of things and then um, get used to the streaming and getting up and you know building up the habits you can't just do it for for a short period of time you have to do it for quite some time to see if you're gonna like it so I'm gonna do it for a month uh, goodness gracious I don't want to be over here uh, we're gonna be doing it for a month which is gonna be good fun Starting September 1st, and I live uh, I live in PT, so Pacific time. Don't get uh, don't get that mixed up. If you live uh, pretty much anywhere else, a lot of it will be happening in uh, other days. But you know, just uh, pay attention to that. It is PT. Um, so I'm going to be recording my videos. Like uh, I'm going to be getting up at 9 a.m. I'm going to be recording videos until 1. Uh, so I'll get up at 9, I'll record probably like a Yamajack tries or two. Um, and then do some KF2 videos, get that in the backlog, some Synthetic Legion Rising, get that in some backlog, and then maybe uh, another game or two as well. Uh, because I'll have 4 hours, 5 days a week to record, which uh, if you split that up to, to 7 days a week is... Uh, well, 20, it's like about 3 hours of, uh, of recording time every day. Of, uh, of like 
I can upload three hours of, of video every day with uh, with four hours of, of recording five days a week. So I can have three hours of content seven days a week with that, approximately. Just under, right? Um, currently I have about an hour, maybe an hour and a half at, at most. So I'll probably I'm thinking I might extend the uh, the uh, the KF2 videos in, in September. So I might make them two matches long or like aim for a minimum of about 22 to 23, 25 minutes long or so. Aim for aim for that kind of general range of, uh, of time for the KF2 videos. Uh, and then that'll put me to about an hour and a half, maybe, you know, put me to about an hour and a half um, uh, with the KF2 and the Yamcheck tries. And then I've got uh, another like hour and a half of, of video to record, so maybe like a half an hour to an hour of Synthetic Legion Rising, and you got like, you know, two hours, two and a half hours there, and that's probably going to be good for now. Um, I might add in like another half hour game somewhere along the line, like a, a shorter game or, or something. Um, not sure. We'll we'll see how it goes, but uh, that's going to be the uh, the time schedule for now. At uh, one o'clock, I'm planning on taking a uh, break to go. If I have uh, if recording goes on long, if I have to record a little bit extra or something for the day, then I've got the time allocated there for it. Oh God. Um. If uh, if it goes on a little bit long, I have the time allocated there, and then I'll have time to go for like a shower, make lunch. Um. So I'll, uh, oh boy, you have to die. So uh, that'll be that'll be good, and uh, that just gives me some downtime until three o'clock, when uh, when I'm gonna start streaming. So I'll stream from three o'clock PT till six. Yeah, till six, six or seven. I haven't decided exactly yet, but six or seven. I'm um, probably six. I don't want to do a four-hour stream. Three hours sounds like enough for me. But uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I can always just extend it or, or shorten it later on. Uh, preferably extend it. I'd rather not shorten it. So we'll probably start at three to six. And then uh, just extend it another day if, uh, if I feel like I can. Um, anyway, so... Uh, we'll be doing... On Fridays, we'll be doing Factorio. And I haven't actually decided what the other days are going to be. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to do on Wednesdays, we'll do RuneScape 3 PVM. So we'll do some Vindicta, maybe some Rax, uh, Greg, you know, whatever. Um, I'm thinking we might do like a, uh, a Slayer Day in RuneScape. Just to have uh, a bit of a uh, slower day. Um, I'd like to have a day where we check out... Like some game that I've been wanting to play, but like isn't really fit for YouTube. Like uh, the Mega Man Battle Network series, which I, I tried out on YouTube, um, but it really wasn't a good fit for YouTube, so we might do that on stream. Um, Fire Emblem series could be good on stream. Pokemon games. Um, stuff like that. Uh, and then I'd be able to post the VODs to, uh, to YouTube as well to get a little bit of extra content here. Um, yeah. There's a, a number of a number of things that we can do, but we'll have about uh, three or four hours a day, five days a week, that we're doing uh, some some proper streaming, which will be fun. So uh, to reiterate, since I've kind of rambled it, uh, from nine o'clock to one o'clock on Monday to Friday, PT, I will be recording video. So if there's if I ever do like a uh, a series that has like dailies, like if Synthetic Legion Rising has dailies or something like that, and I want to do that. Um, like we're not going to have dailies on Saturdays or Sundays because I'm not going to be recording on Saturdays or Sundays at all. I will, I will just straight up not record. We're going to die, and there's there's nothing I can do about it. This is a hard map. Um, so if like anyway, so nine to one. Monday to Friday, I'll be recording. So that's four hours of recording, five days a week, 20 hours of, uh, of video recording per week, split across seven days, one or two videos of each series a day. Uh, then I'll take a break, make lunch, have dinner, or make, make lunch, have a shower, 
uh, to about 3, then I'll be recording from 3 till about 6 or 7 PT, and we will have a, uh, a specific streaming schedule there, so Fridays will be um, Factorio, Wednesdays will be like an RS3 PVM stream, uh, we might have like Mondays be a, a day to just check out some games that, uh, that I haven't been able to play but wanted to play. Final Fantasy 13 is one of those as well. Um, so yeah, it's going to start September 1st. If you're if you're interested in checking out the stream, please do. Uh, my uh, my stream is linked in all of the descriptions of all the videos. I don't actually stream right now very much anyway. Um, but uh, we will we'll definitely be streaming in the future daily, five days a week. So not quite daily, but uh, five five days a week. I want to give myself the, the Saturdays and Sundays off because I think that it's important. Um, to, to start by uh, giving yourself the time. You don't want to start by, by putting in too much time and then having to dial it back. You want to start by, by giving yourself enough time to, to have, you know, time to yourself. And I'll probably, like, do a lot of the same stuff that I record, right? Like, in my downtime, I'll still be doing, like, RuneScape PVM or whatever. Same stuff that I'd be streaming. Same stuff that I'd be recording. Like, I might play Synthetic Legion Rising in my downtime. I could play Factorio in my downtime, like... You know, it's stuff that I enjoy doing, so I'll probably still do it, but uh, streaming is, is I just I want to make sure that I'm separating it and, and keeping that as work. Um, I think that that's a, that's a healthy way to go about it. And that ends up being about like seven hours, eight hours work, and then uh, I'll just make thumbnails and, and titles and descriptions and all that kind of stuff with whatever free time I have, uh, like at night or during the day or in the, the two hours of downtime that I'm giving myself between one and three, like... Whenever, whenever I have a moment and I, I want to go and do that, I'll just do that. Um, which is going to take up a, a, a fair bit of time on top of uh, the recording and all that. But I mean, what can you do, right? You gotta you gotta do it at some point, and I have to have the uh, the content being recorded. But I do not have enough YouTube content right now. I'm not recording enough to actually be able to justify spending four hours a day every day recording YouTube content. I don't, I don't, I just, I don't have enough series going. I have I have an hour to an hour and a half at most a day of, uh, of YouTube content and that's that's not good enough for me right now. So um, I want to know what you guys would like to see um, if you're still watching at this point. I know that most people kind of click off around the uh, the nine minute mark but that's okay. Uh, if, uh, if, if, if there's anything you'd like to see a series on uh, hit me up. Something that might be might be good fun. I'm into a lot of things. I like a, a lot of different types of games. So, uh, roguelikes, shooters, uh, something something with about a half an hour per like session would be would be ideal for me. Um, I'd also like to know your opinions on extending the KF2 series to about 25 minutes instead of the current like 12 minutes that I'm aiming for. Um, so maybe we can extend that and get some extra time there. I'd like to know what you guys think about that, and uh, what, you, what any other series that you might like to, to see in the future as well. Because I, oh my god, hey, that that sign, man. Because uh, that, that stupid sign. If that sign wasn't there, we wouldn't have died. It's just straight up like that. Um. We're gonna we're gonna go again. It is at the the time that I'd I'd like to end it, but we're gonna we're gonna take it a little bit longer because I want to. I, I, we gotta get some kind of a decent performance out of it, right? God, that stupid sign. But yeah, I gotta get I gotta get more content. So we'll have the synthetic legion rising, which I'm guessing is gonna be about a half an hour to an hour long per video for now and that'll kind of like settle around 40 minutes per video maybe 40 yeah probably about 40 50 minutes per video um so i had like 45 minutes there and then that's uh, that's about like hour and a half to, to two hours currently with the the content that we have planned um if we extend the the kf2 stuff to like 25 minute videos instead um that kind of gets us to where we need to go but doesn't give you more videos just gives you longer videos uh, instead of doing that, we could put like another half hour series in instead. So I just want to know what you guys would rather. Would you rather have another series about a half an hour long, or would you like to have just more KF2? Because the uh, the other series are going to be largely 
talking about the game, whereas this one's more of a talking about meta stuff, you know, talking about me and what I'm doing and what I'm planning. Come on, please. Not really talking about the game so much, so it's it's a, it's a different format, and uh, I don't know. I find it uh, like I find both of them just as easy to record these days, honestly. I don't really uh, stress out about it too much, but. Yeah, just, uh, just just let me know, because uh, we're going to be doing it. We're going to be doing the, the schedule for September. I don't know if it's going to last. Right, like, I might give it a try, and then decide that I hate it. I don't think I will. I think I'll enjoy it. Um, having that schedule, and uh, being able to invest the time into it that I feel like I have to to turn this into a job. Um, might be able to get us there a little bit sooner, which would be really, really nice, because I'd really, really like to have... Uh, another source of income right now but you know we'll, we'll see how it goes um it is in here right might, might, yeah uh so yeah i gotta make more uh, i gotta get make i gotta make more of the uh, like the prestige type videos where i uh, i showcased all of the the prestige skins because that video is doing really really well for me still i still get like a subscriber like a lot of you guys watching this came from that video um i get a subscriber from it every few days still uh, still gets like 15 to 20 views a day kind of thing. It's it's doing really, really, really well for my channel. Um, it would be it would be a terrible idea for me to not make uh, more of those. So if there's any other videos along uh, a similar vein that you'd like to see, um, let me know, um, and I'll 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 make them, pretty much. Um, I'm not good enough at the game to like make a tutorial or a guide like how to play gunslinger or whatever. I'm not 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 at that point in my uh, oops in my uh, in my my KF2 career, but I am at the point where I can like drop skins, drop Zeds, make tutorials on how to to do certain things or whatever. Like if there's a a specific thing that you wanted to see, like I could showcase the um I don't know the the DLC guns. And their skins, like, I don't know. You can kind of already do that with just, like, looking at the guns, though. So I don't, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, let me know if there's any other, like, sort of videos along that line. Not uh, not commentary, but, uh, like, edited editorial content kind of stuff. Um, because uh, I'd like to make more stuff like that because it's doing really, really well for the channel. I don't really enjoy it, but... I, uh, I do definitely enjoy seeing the numbers go up, <laughs> so that helps towards that end. So I will I will suffer through it, especially that last one, the uh, the prestige skins, because uh, the Reddit mods are being real sticklers about it. I don't spend much time in that red that subreddit anymore, which is, uh, is is really cool to me because normally when I'm not spending time in a subreddit, I'm not playing the game anymore. Uh, whereas that is Clearly, evidently not true here. I've also been investing a lot more time into RuneScape than I normally do, which I think might be due to me having uh, these like forced breaks from it to play KF2 and then other games in the uh, the Amajack tries. I'm like I'm always trying new games and having that break and uh, getting that uh, that 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 sort of like uh, just you the 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 like getting a what's the word? Variety. I'm getting variety in my life, and uh, so the RuneScape isn't getting old because it's like, all right, I've done, I've done all this. I'm gonna go and, and play some RuneScape now. You know, it's uh, it's relaxing. You're getting Factorio in there. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's cool how 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 much this series has affected my life, and I, I've talked about it a number of times. But it's it's just really really cool to me how much it's it's made a change in my life because uh, yeah, it's just. It's made such an, an incredible change. You know, I was in uh, elementary school. Yeah, elementary school. Uh, I was at uh, an elementary school that had a high school, like, right next door. Uh, yeah, we'll go, we'll, we'll go over here. And one one day, the, uh, the high school, like, chemical lab or whatever had their, uh, had, like, their fire alarm go off. Um, so we got evacuated as well because we were like right next door. Um, we weren't really close enough for the fire to actually like spread, I don't think. But 
you just you you, you want to make sure that that everything's going the way it is because you know you you just just be safe right just just be safe so um we uh, we got evacuated as well because they had uh, their fire alarm go off uh and uh so we're all sitting outside waiting for uh, for something to go down and uh it was just some kid pulling the the fire alarm i believe he just he just decided that he was going to pull the fire alarm <laughs> so he did and uh, it evacuated two schools and at the time like these were like the only schools in the area I mean, you know it was the school district schools so you know uh so we had like probably 2000 kids be be completely disrupted from their from their school just because one dude was like hey, wouldn't it be funny if i pulled a fire alarm and you know it kind of was at the time <laughs> we did get a good chaff we get we did get a good laugh out of it but uh looking back on it i'm just like what a jerk what a jerk to have just like disrupted thousands of people by pulling a fire alarm and also like Kind of incredible that you can do that. Like one person pulling a fire alarm and like thousands of people are put out of the way. That's why it's like a big deal to oh my god. <laughs> that one's not even hell on earth. That one's entirely my fault. To have one person be able to pull a fire alarm and it disrupt thousands of people like that is just uh kind of incredible. That that, uh, that you can do that. That's why it's a big deal. To, to make sure people are not doing that because it really does you have you have the people get evacuated and then you have the fire people come out and they have to go through and check everything and you know it's a big deal when when somebody pulls a fire alarm like that so but uh, we, we found it funny at the time anyway that's gonna do it for today thank you for watching maybe like the video if you like it subscribe to see more in the future comment if anything to say and i'll see you. excuse me i got the hiccups i'll see you next time Bye bye